In spite of all the warnings about skin cancer, many still feel a deep, dark tan signals good health. If you're one of those sun worshipers, you need to know a few things in your quest to look good and feel great. While it is true that small amounts of sunlight stimulate the body to produce vitamin D to build strong bones, it is not true that more sunlight is better. The bottom line is it, it, it's ultraviolet radiation. It's radiation. And um, you don't want to get too technical about it, which type is healthy, which type's not as bad, uh, how much is a safe amount. It's radiation, so if you think about it like that, then you want to minimize your exposure to it. Aletha Glover did not think about it like that. In fact, during her teenage years, she couldn't get enough of the sun. I was an avid tanner. I mean, I would lay out after going to the tanning bed in the sun and put baby oil on, um, the real dark tanning oil, and, you know, it just literally cooked my skin. Aletha got the look she wanted, but a decade of tanning brought on something she had not counted on. I started noticing just a spot on my collarbone below my shoulder. Unfortunately for Aletha, the spot was basal cell carcinoma, one of the three most common types of skin cancer. The others being squamous cell carcinoma and malignant melanoma. Basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas are the most curable types of skin cancer, but can result in death if left untreated. And malignant melanoma is the most deadly form of skin cancer. But recognizing the key warning signs of malignant melanoma is as easy as A, B, C, and D. A for asymmetry. Most early melanomas are asymmetrical, meaning the two sides do not match. B for border irregularity. The borders of early melanomas are often uneven. C for color variability. Varied shades of brown, tan, or black are often the first sign of melanoma and D for diameter. Early melanomas tend to grow to a diameter of more than one-fourth of an inch. To avoid skin cancer in the first place, however, it's critical to educate yourself and your young ones on the best ways to save your skin. Limit sun exposure, especially between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Use sunscreen, a broad spectrum sunscreen with a sun protection factor of 15 or higher. For young ones, the higher SPF, the better. And for infants under six months, they should not be getting direct sun exposure at all. Cover up. A broad-brimmed hat and UV protective sunglasses can help keep out those harmful rays. And stay away from tanning beds. Tanning beds are bad. We consider the tanning beds the microwave oven of the sun. They cook you faster than the sun. That's why people go and do it. But if you just have to have that bronze body, the safest way is to fake it. There's no negative aspect to the sunless tanners. The only thing people do need to know is that they do not offer any sun protection factor. All good advice that Aletha wishes she had followed. A surgical procedure got rid of her cancerous spot, but that doesn't mean she won't develop more skin cancer in the future. She's replaced regular tanning sessions with regular checkups. The best news, however, is that the tough lessons she learned, she's now teaching to her children. I don't want them to have to develop this in the years to come and um, just trying to keep them healthy as I can.